you may hear some shops say they're trying to lock us out. The reality of it is, is that for a lot of components that you replace on a vehicle, either underneath the car or underneath the hood, they require some extra steps that may require subscriptions and special service information and tools to replace these components and get the job finished right. Take for instance, the steering rack. It actually has a module on it. That module communicates over a high-speed CAN network with the ECU and ABS system. It's used for certain ADOS functions. In other words, if it detects that the vehicle is having to make a sudden turn, it may add a little extra assist. It also communicates with the ECU. So it knows when the driver makes a sharp turn to increase maybe the throttle angle so the engine has more power and doesn't stall or surge when the wheel is turned. This requires special tools and also a subscription to some of the OE information to make sure that this rack is properly programmed for the vehicle. Also, take this battery for instance. A lot of late model vehicles, it's not a battery. It's a part of a power management system. And the vehicle and ECU are managing this system, not only to make sure that all the accessories and lights work on the vehicle, but to make sure that it puts the least amount of strain on the engine to reduce emissions and increase fuel mileage. If the system doesn't know that this is a new battery or that it has a certain amount of cold cranking amps, it could over or undercharge the battery. So it's critical when you install that new battery, you're doing the correct programming or resets on the vehicle. Yes, it's gonna take some extra steps and tools to be able to service modern vehicles at your shop. It may be a J2534 reflash tool or other software required to program the steering rack, or it could be service information to make sure you have the proper reset procedure for this battery. But these are opportunities and stuff that should be billed to the customer. So if you're having to service a modern vehicle, make sure you're looking at your labor guide and you figure in these extra steps. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.